All right, guys, and we are back with some more Red Dead Redemption 2. We're going to go talk to Hosea. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, he's talking to, this isn't the Gray family. This is the other family. I their name. I know it's supposed to be Ridge something, I think. I, I really can't remember. So we're going to go talk to him, see what we can do for her. It's probably going to end up in gunfight, which that's okay. That's what I'm here for. Is he gonna let me pass, or am I gonna get shot? Howdy! Hey, fellas. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Braithwaite, not even bridge. I was way off. I knew to start with a B. And my horse just, you know, gave him, left him a nice present. Good girl. All right. I want to say it's also here, but I think I'm wrong in saying that. I'm just gonna leave you right here, girl. Okay. Evening, sir. Ah, uh, please come in, sir. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal... <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Alright, what are we up to? Can I drive? Nope. <sighs> Please let him drive. I'm tired of driving. What do we have here? Ready? Let's get out of here. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep, using that back there. Moonshine? Born's faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. All I'm thinking is how about I try fitting my boot up your hook now, just snotty old bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, oh, he was giving his usual flannin. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckoned. I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. There really better be some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. We just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So... We're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery, that's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right then. All right, guys, yeah. you know the routine. I'll transition when I get there. It's gonna be a long drive, I think. See you in a sec. Whoa, 
Hold up a second. Are you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they knows you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here. I'll go hiding back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> Okay. Tap the towel through. <laughs> I'm sucking at this. Oh, here we go. Here's Arthur's view. We're here. Stay out of sight. I'll do the talking. I'm sure you will. Hold it right there. What you want, boy? I've, uh, I've, there, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean, you no know, harm. Uh, <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal, in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies, uh, sort of business. Uh, 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 before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. All right. <coughs> Uh, Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. I'm not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a fella to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. I'm sure he doesn't see me. <clears throat> Quite a place you yeah, boys have got here. Certainly. Reminds me of one of okay. them big houses uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man sups on shite, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. I thought I had to do it. Come on, Arthur. What are you playing at? I was enjoying the monologue. I'm glad I'm not your brother. Where? Well, let's get on with this. I'm not the one who was dawdling. Okay. You can hold up in here till it gets dark. Oh, did not mean to do that. Oh, good. What about the other How door? How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. 
And you? I'm gonna fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born born in down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. All right, so what am I doing here? So follow, oh, I gotta follow him. Quiet, there's someone coming on the left. This will see me. Uh, oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? We'll take care of this fella. Go on. You tell the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. Try right. to stay out of trouble. Okay, RT to pour. I gotta keep an eye on the liquor. So I gotta make sure I, I douse this area good enough. There we go. Oh, someone's over there. Kinda wanna see if I can douse this without That's good. getting anybody's attention. Good, he turned his back. So let me go a little further. Those snaps. And in I go. I don't think noise really attracts them, so I think I can move a little bit faster in here. Come on. Alright, next. Which is over here. Do I need to take anybody out? Oh, uh, this camera rocking up and down is a little... Okay. I don't know if he's gonna move or turn around. I'm gonna watch him for a second. Yep. Oh, you have no idea. And I'm off. That's good for you. Okay. Okay, stop. Okay. All right, I have more than just over half the jug. Whoops. I gotta do those two fields over there, but he needs to go away. I think I can sneak past him again. All right, go. Oh, goodness. Got it. Oh, you're not about to be bored here in a second. I guarantee it. Okay, meet Sean at the barn. Okay. Uh, I think that's him with the lantern. No. There he is. Okay, I no longer have the moonshine. Okay, good. I'm gonna douse this too. Okay. I'm gonna halfway stay out of sight. Burn the barn. Light her up. Okay. Okay, I know I'm. I'll give you forced on us. Okay. 
to chuck it in there. I'm trying to figure out how to chuck it in All there. Right, let's light this barn up. Okay. Woohoo! Would you look at that? <laughs> yeah, let's go light ourselves a fat cigar. You ain't leaving here! I'm trying to throw this freaking thing. I got the right hand! <sighs> There we go. Chuck it under there. Really get this going. Come on. We got some horses from the stables. Come on. Not right now. We got company. Look out. Let's go. I need a gun. little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Yeah, why not? Sure. It's a lot quicker, the cutscene, instead of me riding back. Here we are. 
Home sweet home. You let Jose know how we got on. All right. Now, do I have another horse or something? My goodness, I'm collecting these things like crazy. I mean, this is a big boy. You're doing good, girl. Oh, it's a big girl then. My bad. I guess I have another horse. Or this is a horse I can go sell, but I'm not really exactly hurting for money, so... I'm not yet LA's famous last words. Alright guys, well, this is where I'm going to end this video. Don't know why I was struggling to get the horse free. No clue. But, it is what it is. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.